Hi YouTube friends! I'm sitting here in my car, excuse the steering wheel, and I'm waiting for my little grandson to finish his guitar lesson. So anyway, I thought I'd spend the time and make a video for day seven. Yes, we're on day seven. Awesome. And it's the end of the week. How Yay! did you do? Was it hard? Was it easy? Are you still with me? Anyway, today's topic is, and I, I think with this book, um, 31 Days of Living Well and Spending Zero, which I've kind of modified to Low Spend, No Spend. And um, every week culminates with um, reflections, and you reflect back on your week. Now in the book, and I'm not advocating you buy the book, you can also go on their website, which is, hmm, I don't know, I'll link it below again. But anyway, um, you can go on their website and um, print off some of these pages too. And it goes over the whole process. But it has a weekly reflections page in the book and some of the questions are I'll read them to you because you can just write them down on a piece of paper and that would be fine so for week one reflections um, first question is what was the scariest part of starting this challenge question number two is what is the one thing you are most excited to get out of this challenge Question number three is, what has been the biggest struggle this week? Question number four, where were you most tempted or where did you cheat? Uh, number five is, what are you most worried about looking forward? And number six is, did you have an aha moment? And seven is, what has been the most surprising thing about not spending this week? Um, I'm going to answer these questions for myself and just go over it real quick because I'm, this is going to be a short video. The scariest part of starting this challenge, question number one. I think for me is that I would run out of things that I need and that's sort of why I buy a lot of food to begin with because I don't like to run out of anything. But I didn't. I had plenty of spices and food and, and all that. So that was good. What is the one thing you are most excited to get out of this challenge? I really would like to change my habit and learn to use more of what I have and not buy so much stuff. That's my main reason for doing this whole challenge. Um, and to save a little extra money, get caught up on some bills. So that's a goal. What, what has been the biggest struggle this week? Um, honestly, I didn't find it that hard. And I think it was because I had so much already prepped ahead of time. Now I'm not saying I went like a week or two before and ran out and got all this stuff. I did a few things um, preparing for the week and I went over that in the first video. Um, I needed dog food and things like that. So, But I didn't go overboard. But I tend to go a bit overboard and I'm a, an impulse shopper. So I would like to curtail my impulse to, oh, I see that, I want it, it's in the card, and out the door I go. So that, that's one thing that I'm working on. So that's a struggle for me. But I didn't go into the stores. I just totally stay, stayed out of the stores this week. Um, where were you most tempted or where did you cheat? Okay, honestly, I did not cheat. Yay me. But, you know, if you did, that's okay. As long as you fall off the wagon and get back on, you're okay. Um, I would probably have to say 
taking my little grandkids out to McDonald's or something, or if they asked me, I'd have to say, no, I can't do that this week. I just don't have the money. So that was a temptation for me, but I didn't do it. Uh, what are you most worried about looking forward? Well, I think I have a decent handle on the food situation now. And I know I want to continue to keep a prepper pantry. But I want to be a little more mindful of what's in there. And rotate my food more and use what I have before um, I buy new by that I mean, you know, let it get down to maybe five articles before I go and spend the money to buy five more. Um, did you have an aha moment? No, I can't really say I had an aha moment. Uh, what has been the most surprising thing about not spending this week? And this is going to sound a little funny, but actually... The most surprising thing to me was that I thought it was actually fun. Um, I like to challenge myself with these things, so I actually had a good time. I dug out things that I hadn't used in years. I, um, I could use my creative efforts to come up with new dishes, which I like to do anyway. So that, that's how the week went for me. So those are my reflections for the week. Now next week coming up, um, day eight is going to be to get ready to clean. So I'll talk about that to, in tomorrow's video. So anyway, how'd it go for you? How did you do? Um, did you get your pantry and freezer organized? Um, let me know in the comments below. Was it easy? Was it hard? What were your thoughts? So anyway, um, I'm going to try and get a couple videos done because I'm going to be going on a little getaway this weekend. So I'm not actually going to be cleaning much. So I'm going to have to pay, uh, play catch up when I get back. So anyway, um, I'll be back in a little bit and... Uh, We'll see how the day goes. Okay, I'm home again, and I have to pay bills. Boy, that's a job I hate. But anyway, got to do it and see how I'm doing with my low spend, no spend, spending down some bills. Um, and then I have to clean off my very messy kitchen table. Do you guys have a place that accumulates like tons of paper stuff? I try and keep a handle on it. I mean, when my mail comes, I open it right away and get rid of junk mail. In fact, sometimes I even open that in the garage and just throw it in the recycle. But somehow I always get papers like everywhere on my kitchen table. So my kitchen table is the heart of my home, and that's where I usually hang out during the day. I watch my YouTube videos there. I make a lot of my YouTube videos there, and that's just where the junk goes. So anyway, I've got my work cut out for me with that. Um, and then I just had a little snack of hummus and pretzel rods, and I'm just having leftovers for dinner. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and go have some fun today. Do it, really, do it. Go have some fun. Relax. Take some time for yourself. And I'm wishing you abundant blessings, and come back and see me again. And if you like my content, consider subscribing. Ring the notification bell. And as always, I'll see you next time.